Hi everyone and welcome to a new fun video. In this video I will be making my Christmas presents or like end of the year presents because I don't know when I'm gonna be finished with these presents. And yeah, this, gonna, this video is gonna be published a bit later in January because I first want the people that I'm gifting my creations to to receive the gifts first and then I want to publish a video. So I hope you're still in the mood to see some present content <laughs> and I hope you had a very good holiday period if you celebrate that and if you don't, I hope you still had a good time. So in this video I will be making the presents. It will mostly be amigurumi. It will be for a few of my friends, my mom and my grandma. Um, and I already have the projects in mind. I bought the patterns, I bought the yarn. A little disclaimer, I have like pain in my back and I don't know why, but I have been trying to not crochet for about two days now and I'm gonna break that promise of not crocheting. So I hope I don't get more back pain uh, because I have no idea why I have the back pain and I'm kind of thinking it's because of a project that I was working on, a crochet project. So I hope everything goes well in this video and that I get my gifts done on time. But I think I'll have time enough. Uh, the, the projects aren't super complicated or anything. By the way, super off topic, but I feel like I hate winter so much for clothing. I am actually sweating now <laughs> because I really want to layer fun clothing like this cardigan that I made myself. I haven't worn it for a while and I really wanted to wear it again, but I'll probably take it off because I'm really sweaty. And underneath I'm wearing like a thick um, black dress. So let me know in the comments if you like uh, autumn and winter when it comes to fashion, because I really prefer summer. I need more clothing that I can layer during winter, like dresses and skirts and stuff like that. I only have dresses for summer, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, that was very off topic. <laughs> I'm gonna start with showing you what I already have for my gifts. So in uh, a previous vlog, I made this really big blanket for my niece, who is my godchild. And it is actually very, very big. <laughs> and it took me a long time, I think about 40 hours or maybe even more, I have no idea. I'll put it on the screen because I have like a little list that I keep for how long every project takes me to do. <laughs> so yeah, I have this um, baby blanket. It's a very big blanket, so I don't know if it really counts as a baby blanket. I already washed it, uh, so it's already, it's totally ready to gift. Um, this was the first gift I made because it also was the biggest project. I feel like all my other gifts are very small, very tiny and kind of easy and quick to make. At least I hope so, <laughs> that it's easy to make. Um, then I started with the gifts for my mom and I'm also gonna give her something that I already made because she really liked it. In this video I also made this little purse. But it actually was an accident because I wanted to use a strawberry stitch for the sleeves for my, for my sweater. Uh, so I made it into this little purse, but I actually never use it because I only have one bag or purse that I always use. And I don't really need another purse, so I'm just gonna give this to her because she really liked it and she was like, oh, if you're ever gonna make another one of these, I really wanna have it. So I'm just gonna give it to her. Uh, yeah, I already made this, so, that, so that's very easy. <laughs> the other thing I want to give her are some bookmarks, some flower bookmarks. And this is what I have. I have like the little flower top and then this. And I still have to attach it. And I want to make two or maybe three for her so she can use it when she's reading books. I honestly don't really know if she still reads books. Because when I was younger, she was reading books all the time, but I don't really know if she still reads books. So I hope, I hope this will be a good gift and otherwise she can give it to someone else. Because it takes, it, this has taken me about 20 minutes to 30 minutes to make. So it's very easy and quick to make. And today I want to make 
So more of those flower bookmarks. And then I wanna start on some other gifts. I think the first thing I wanna make is the maybe the most complicated. It has the most parts at least. Um, I wanna make this little clown cat plushie um, for my friend who is really into clowns and I feel like also cats. So I'm gonna start making that. For all my amigurumi projects, I have the same yarn size and I bought a few different colors. And I'm also gonna use the same hook for all the projects because I feel like that's a bit easier. I feel like for amigurumi, you can just use the type of yarn and hook you like because it's not like clothing that it really has to fit. I also bought this polyfill for my projects. And here are a few examples of the yarn that I bought. Uh, I don't really like this type of yarn because it's shiny. I always buy shiny yarn on accident. I do really prefer this type of yarn a lot more, but I have it now, so I'm gonna use it for my projects. Uh, I hope it turns out cute either way, but they are the same type of yarn size. So let's get started with making all these little gifts. I'm super excited. So the goal for today is to make one or two other bookmarks and then start with a little clown plushie and hopefully already finish it. But I'll see how much I can do. And like I said, I don't want to overdo myself because I have like this kind of back injury or something. I have no idea what it is. I still have to go to the doctor. So I want to take things easy, but let's get started. <laughs> So this is what I have so far. It's starting to take shape. I actually was expecting to finish this whole cat today, but it took me a few hours to do this alone. And I tried to make an ear, but it doesn't look like the reference picture at all. So I just texted the pattern maker because I don't know how they made it like they did on the picture. But yeah, I'm happy I at least have this. It's very cute. It's kind of painful to crochet <laughs> in like such small stitches, but it will be very cute when it's finished. to give a little update of what I did today so <laughs> this is what I have so far it looks a bit floppy but I don't have that much experience with making amigurumi plushies but I think it still looks very cute it needs a, a few more details like the little mouth the legs the buttons but I will finish this tomorrow and also start with a new gift tomorrow, I have already been working on this for, I think, almost six hours. <laughs> and I expected it to only to be done in like two hours or I don't know, I'm clearly not experienced. <laughs> but it is very cute so far. And I don't know if I have mentioned this, but I try to use colors that the friend that I'm gifting this to also uses in her art. So that's why I used these colors. Um, yeah, it's very floppy, but kind of cute. <laughs> it's the next day and I just wanted to show what I'm wearing today. It's my first textile slash fashion creation I ever made. And I followed a pattern, but I think I bought the wrong size of yarn, so I I adjusted the pattern and now it's very very big <laughs> but I think it's quite cute I have never worn it and I made this two years ago this was one of my first videos I put on YouTube but yeah I mean I, I think the color is kind of weird it is way too baggy 
it is very warm though so that's what I'm wearing today but yeah today I'm gonna continue with the cat clown and then I'll start another project another gift let's see how much we can get done today guys it is finally finished it took me about maybe seven hours but it's really cute I'm a bit scared it will fall apart though because I'll probably ship it to my friend and I really hope everything stays together because I'm not really that experienced with sewing on tiny body parts <laughs> but yeah I think it's very cute and I actually think this is my cutest thing out of all my gifts so that friend is very lucky <laughs> But now I will start with the next thing and this is the pattern that I bought for another friend that I'm, I'm sure will watch this video. So, hello! <laughs> but I wanted to do these insects because my friend has a lot of insect jewelry. <laughs> so I was thinking I could do that for her. Um, yeah, this friend really liked clowns so it all makes sense. Let's start with the next project then. Okay, I am taking a break because I need to make dinner and Mona is just has just come to sit on me while I actually need to start cooking. But uh this is what I have so far and it's gonna turn out very big actually compared to the last plushie. It looks very questionable at the moment, <laughs> um, but it will be quite big actually. Uh, I think Mona just farted. Bean. Ugh. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it will also take me like six or seven hours to make completely but that was my little update I actually need to make dinner now and then this evening I can continue I don't want to make dinner at all I just want to keep working on it but life can be very cruel sometimes <laughs> so yeah mm -hmm. This was literal, literal torture, you guys. I'm so happy this is done. Oh my god. Guys, I feel like today was a day full of side quests. And now I'm finally home and I can do my main quest again, which is working on my Christmas gifts. I also picked up a parcel, which is also one of my side quests. And I really felt like I was in a video game trying to achieve all these little tasks. And in this parcel is some more of my yarn. I ordered some special like sponge yarn because I want to crochet sponges for my grandma because she always helps me out with cleaning in my house. So I wanted to give her a little um, gift. It's a bit stupid, but you know, it has a lot of emotional value. Ooh, it looks so nice. So these will become sponges for my grandma. By the way, yesterday I didn't do uh, much at all. So today I really want to fin finish up my insect guy for one of my friends. Oh, and about I, the stickers, I wanted to make some stickers for the packaging. I also bought some packaging supplies today, by the way, for my gifts. The stickers, I wanted to use my Cricut for that, but since it's such a hassle to set up my Cricut, I'll probably just print the stickers and cut them out by hand because it doesn't need to be too precise. It's just for the packing paper, the, the gift paper. So uh, yeah, I'll next week I think I'll do the stickers. But first I have so much more work to do on my <laughs> gifts. I finished up my little insect. It looks very cute. Um, I don't know how long it took me, probably like five or six hours. I'm so happy with it, it is very cute. 
so that's another gift done. Um, the next thing I'll do is this little pigeon plushie again. And oh my god, I really, really dislike doing small details and attaching small parts onto a body and stuff like that. I absolutely hate it. I really dislike doing all the little fiddly stuff and I don't think I'm very good at it either, but I still hope my friends <laughs> kind of like the gifts I'm giving, although they're far from perfect. I actually wanted to make even more gifts, although it, this is already taking up more time than I anticipated. I wanted to make maybe make some more gifts for streamers that I have been following throughout the year, but I'm just not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do make some gifts for my closest friends and then my mom and my grandma. I also was thinking I would I wanted to make a gift for Evert, his mom. But I don't really know what I should give her, so I decided to just give her a gift coupon because I know she will be better off with that. I think this evening I'm gonna start with the pigeon. I'll see how much I can get done. I just want these gifts to finally be done and then I, I can work on the packaging and then I'm, I'm gonna ship out a few gifts and gift the rest. Yeah. I, but I'm very excited, like the things I have made so far are, are quite cute. <laughs> Today I want to finish off this little gift. It's, it's actually very little, <laughs> but it's so cute. One of my friends wanted a pigeon with this type of blue. And it's so tiny, but so cute. I still have to finish it off. I hope I can do that today. But it is actually the smallest thing I have made so far. Um, she will have the smallest gift. It's kind of silly, but I hope she still likes it. I didn't expect this pattern to be so small, but it is very adorable. So today I hope to finish this. It needs like some metal wire for the, for the, how do you call it, paws, the feet and stuff like that. Look at this tiny guy. Look how cute he is. His paws are a little bit crooked, but it was very hard to do. But he is so tiny and cute. Now the only thing left to do is do the sponges for my grandma. So let's quickly do that and then I can finally start packing every gift. my last gift finally and it took me almost three hours and a half for this stupid sponge but it is very cute and it also is also it's very soft um, so now the last step is to pack all the gifts finally I have to warn you this is the most ugly gift packaging you'll ever see this is a perfect example of me not being perfectionistic enough because I was so tired. You could have given me a gift packing tutorial and I still wouldn't have followed it because Evict arrived home and we still had to go to the supermarket. I just wanted to get it over with so I apologize for how unsatisfying this packing is. It is an accurate representation of how I felt after working more than 50 hours in total on these gifts. And then I had to pack everything and I, I was just not having it. I think I was actually going insane at this point. <laughs> but the eventual packages looked quite cute nonetheless. So I'm happy, just don't look too close at them, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please let me know by liking, commenting and subscribing. And I'll see you next week. Have a good day or night. Bye bye.